Hi, I'm Vanessa Blakesley. I'm a fiction writer and sometimes book reviewer. My name is Susan Buis. I'm a poet. I also write uh, creative nonfiction. I'm Nikki Sheppy. I am a literary journalist and a poet. Hi, I'm Maureen Scott Harris. I'm a writer, principally a poet, but I'm in Banff working on uh, nonfiction. I'm Carrie Lee Powell, and I'm a poet and fiction writer. I'm Guadalupe Muro. I'm a writer and an artist. I'm Emily McGiffin, and I'm a poet here at the Banff Centre Writing Studio. Hello, I'm Daljit Nagra, and I'm a poet. Hi, I'm Cheryl Archer. I'm a writer, and I'm working on short stories here at the Banff Centre. I'm Carolina Adderson. I'm a writer, and I'm on faculty at the writing studio. My name is Aisha Sasha John. I'm a poet and a dancer. I'm Brennan Bowles. I'm here for the uh, writing studio. I write narrative. I definitely do come in and set up my notebooks and my computer in a certain place. But then I very often find I go in a different area of the room to write my first drafts. In this space, for instance, I gravitated toward the bed with my notebook. And then once I'd written a few pages, I would go back to the desk. And the desk is sort of where I go to um, revisit what I've just what I've just composed. It uh, resembles my space at home. It's kind of startling how that happens. It's always sort of an organized mess. And I find that I think that's, uh, I need to work in a sort of organized mess. I mean, I know where everything is. When you're actually writing, it's a, it can be a very visceral experience, very, you know, your, the, your physical surroundings can greatly influence you. So yeah, who knows? You could be working on a scene and your eye falls on something on your desk maybe an odd item and it there it is in your story one thing that I like about my room is the minimalism of it um, there wasn't a lot here to begin with and I didn't bring that much along with me so in my opinion it's still quite spare I try to keep my workspace as clean as possible because I feel that it focuses my attention and I'm prone to distraction I'm not using as much color as I used to use when I worked at home and looked out the window. I had a large window. There's livestock out there. There's lots of wildlife and I'm very distracted by that and it finds its way into my writing. Here I'm facing a white wall and I'm finding the color is leached out of my writing uh, since I've been here and that's fine. I'm okay with it. Well, I guess the starting point is myself. As you can see, I'm wearing my pajamas. This is the main area of activity. This is the bed. (laughs) Um, And the bed is a great surface because it's extra wide. So I essentially splay my books out, whatever I'm using at the time. So generally what I have is a mixture of books with me. I will have reference books that are things like dictionaries and thesauruses. I'll keep those sorts of books around and periodically refer to them. I think that my writing is often quite internal and inward looking, not always that concrete, often very metaphorical, uh, image based. And I think that might emerge a little bit from the way in which I work inside kind of a nest. The animal that springs to mind is um, a gopher. (laughs) That's very much what it's like for me is... A, a, a sort of burrow, but also um, a place that I emerge from into the world and then retreat. Well, this is a good workspace. The desk gives me an area, as you can see, to clutter up uh, with things that I like to have. I have my notebooks on it. I have a picture, a little painting, a little artwork of a bird. Um, it's, not a, it's not a particular real bird, but it was made by a really good friend of mine. I'm obsessed with birds, so it's nice to have one to bring with me. Um, I also have on my desk an antler that was given to me just before I came. And I also have on it a little totem figure from New Mexico, a bear, um, which I've had for years. Um, I dream about bears a lot, so it's, it's kind of a writing companion as well. One of the things I do quite a lot of is to either sit on the side of the bed or stand in the balcony door and stare out at the mountains because mountains are not familiar to me. I see it as a space where I can kind of curl up and think as well as write. And I don't write all day long by any means, but to have a kind of space where where simply being in it 
and open to, to thinking and to letting things come into my imagination that perhaps wouldn't come in if I was busy. That's really part of the writing process for me. So I suppose there's a kind of element of the bear semi-hibernating. Generally for me, there's an ideal setup. So I'll, I'll set things up quite neatly um, and then I'll sort of more or less instantly rebel against them. This is exactly what's happened here. I, I moved everything in. I had a clean, clear desk. And then I spent most of the time writing in bed with my laptop, uh, sort of propped up on cushions. I guess I'm kind of a messy writer, you know. Um, I'm always sort of working on a few different projects at the same time. Um, I, I dip in and out of fiction and poetry. I have a fairly short attention span, so I actually manage to get quite a lot done that way, although it seems really confusing, you know. Um, and, and my desk definitely ref reflects that kind of um, hasty confusion that I, I work in. I mean, writing is such a difficult thing to do. I mean, if, if it was going to be an animal, I guess it would be almost like a zoo animal because you're contained in a space. You're kind of forced to create worlds in these really physically very constrained environments. I have my lamp full of these yellow stick notes because when I'm working, I, I need to feel that I'm solving things. So when I go through the manuscript and I'm able to take one stick note out, I stick it on the lamp. And I think I like to think about this lamp as a tree and I like to hear how the stick notes fall and they fall wh while I'm working. And I like to see how much they are because it makes me feel that I work a lot. This is clearly the nest of a magpie <laughs> full of shiny, useless things that I love. <laughs> My writing isn't this messy, I hope. Uh, I think that the writing is fairly um, clean and, and tight. Uh, it's maybe, maybe it's sort of the mental exertion to close out all the, the clutter of the, uh, of the desk and the bits of paper. I can see receipts and old post-its and bread bag tags and CDs and business cards and loose bits of paper with to-do lists and all that kind of stuff. You know, actually the to-do list is pretty crucial. It might be a sort of a writing habitat that's like a pack rat kind of nestling in and they kind of like to have the comfort of a lot of bits and pieces around them where they have a sense of um, there is sort of a, an, an order to it which might not be evident to the person coming in from outside and feeling comforted by um, having the various building blocks of a manuscript coming together fairly close at hand. I almost always write on the sofa I tend to write um, against my legs, um, so I think in a sense I write from my body, from my legs, and I tend to write quite lively, fast poems, so I can always relate it to my legs, I think, when it's sort of running poetry. I've never used a literal desk before. The animal that works for me is I'm a, a dark, sinister creature who's wor working through the night and therefore he doesn't want to use a practical, noticeable surface, so nobody knows where I really work. Uh, I like that at home, because then my children can't dismantle my desk space. I have young children, so that way it's just, it's just much more practical for me not to have a desk. I brought a complete library, <laughs> and I haven't had time to read nearly enough, so I wish that, um, you know, maybe I could be here another month to do a little bit of reading too. I think I'm sort of a visual person because I like to see where I'm at. So I've got some sticky notes um, up on the wall with some of the prompts and I brought a calendar that I wrote out our schedule. And then of course I've used the drawers to put my files in. So I don't, I don't like too much clutter, but I like to be able to see, see sort of where I'm going, where I'm at. I kind of like that, the messiness of life, you know? Um, so perhaps this isn't messy enough but I think I like to have a fairly organized desk so then sometimes when I'm free writing I can just let the ideas tumble out. I like to have a little bit of both that, that sort of organized uh, system um, but also let things be a little bit loose and wild. I guess I'll just explain the pig on my desk. <laughs> this is actually a gift I, that I bought here in Banff for my editor. I just won the BC Book Prize uh, for children's literature uh, f for a book that Shelley edited. And um, I wanted to send her a token of my appreciation. So I'm sending her a pig. And the reason I'm doing that is when I first received the manuscript, I looked at the first page and I saw that 
pretty much three quarters of it was circled and then there was a little pig's tail coming out of the circle and I discovered that the pig's tail meant cut. <laughs> so I was slightly alarmed and I began to flip through the manuscript and I saw everywhere circles with pigtails coming out and I realized how much she was suggesting I cut and uh, I decided to give it a try and uh, I couldn't believe how much better it was. I have to say that I'm indifferent to my surroundings when I'm writing. The, but I do love the idea of, of the space. Uh, but I don't draw on it at all when I'm working other than at home. I, I, I really just, I'm so internally inside the, the story that I don't pay any attention to what's around me. I dance, so in my room I need to dance while I'm writing, like between chunks of writing. This is my mom, who I love very much. And it's just like easy to travel with photo. It's her in like the 70s. And these are two my my two bum buddies, my best friends. It's just traveling with love. Just having my love with me everywhere. My workspace is very messy, um, but secretly organized. And especially in terms of my current project, there's an aesthetic of like naturalness or wildness that I'm interested in. So it, it may seem wild, but it's pretty controlled. Like, it's not that it's controlled, it's pretty organized. It's like an organized wildness. Uh, well, up here we got my shelves where I hide things that I think the cleaning people will take away from me if they find, like the pepper I've liberated from vistas. <laughs> and then the bowl that I wash with water and probably is growing bacteria at this point. I've got, um, all of the garbage bins in my room turned upside down because I like to write standing up so that I it's harder it's harder to justify spending a lot of time on useless websites when you're standing up and looking at them you know what I mean it's like you should be doing something because you're standing there and when you spend two hours on Facebook standing up you just feel like a knob so I write standing up to spur productivity I guess but I've got my keyboard on top of my recycling bin and a monitor on top of a garbage bin both are upside down which means i have nowhere to put the garbage in the room which is an issue <laughs> that i work with with the cleaning people's help like i put stuff up on the wall for inspiration or like i've got a chart to keep track of the timeline for this one thing i'm working on also i've always got books and so when i'm bored i'll pick up a book or if i'm stuck i'll pick up a book um yeah so i guess you know i surround it with things that i like to have in my life i'm a turtle and i need to take my home with me wherever i go I think I have more baggage than anyone else. I mean, like, literal baggage than anyone else here. 